Hi, I'm Blair Lehman, Product Service Manager at Komatsu. In this episode of instructional videos on hydraulic breakers, I'm going to provide some tips to consider before and after your breaker installation. Proper installation is important to the overall health of your breaker, your excavator, and the people around you. Improper installation can shorten the life of your attachment and compromise safety for you and those around you and the efficiency of the breaker. Before installation, refer to the operator's manual or check with the dealer to see that you have the right size excavator with the capabilities to handle the hydraulic breaker attachment. This includes choosing a carrier with sufficient hydraulic power. During installation, you should always wear protective gear, helmets, safety glasses, protective gloves, shoes, and hearing protection. After installation, check the excavator's hydraulic flow using a flow meter. If there's not enough flow, the hydraulic hammer will hit slowly and become ineffective. Too much flow and the hydraulic hammer will hit too rapidly and become susceptible to internal damage and costly repairs. As you're working, pay attention to your in-cab monitor to see that you're in the correct working mode. You should be in B mode when working with single flow attachments like hydraulic breakers. Working in P, power mode, could overflow the breaker and shorten the breaker's life. It's also important to keep the oil clean and to change it often. Check the viscosity if you're using the breaker for extended amounts of time. If the viscosity is too high, you'll get a rocky operation with irregular blows that can cause cavitation in the working pump. If it's too thin, you'll get leakage reducing your efficiency. High temperatures can damage the oil seal and gasket. To see more in this series of hydraulic breaker videos, visit us at Komatsu.com.